Welcome to the Winter Solstice Festival, a place where magic and mystery intertwine. Here, in the heart of the town square, the air is filled with the scent of spice cider and roasted chestnuts. The ancient lantern casts a golden glow, flickering like the heartbeat of the town itself. Join us as we follow Alara, a young woman drawn into the warm embrace of the lantern's light. Beneath the festive surface, a current of unease ripples through the crowd. Alara stands at the center, feeling the pull of the spirits, each one a whisper of regret and longing. This is a story of discovery, of facing the past, and finding closure. Stay with us as we delve into the memory realm, where the spirits await their chance to be heard. Alara steps forward, her heart racing as she crosses into the memory realm. The world around her shifts, colors swirling into a kaleidoscope of emotions. She finds herself in a lush meadow, the sun casting a gentle glow over the landscape. Here, the spirits of the townsfolk materialize, each one a reflection of their deepest regrets. A woman with sorrowful eyes clutches a faded photograph, while a man with a heavy heart gazes longingly at a distant horizon. Elara approaches the first spirit, her empathy radiating like the lantern's light. What burdens you? she asks softly. The woman looks up, tears glistening like dew on her cheeks. I never said goodbye to my sister, she whispers. Alara reaches out, her hand brushing against the spirits, and in that moment, the meadow transforms. Memories flood the air, laughter mingling with tears, as the woman relives the moments they had shared. As Alara guides the spirits through their memories, she feels a shift within herself. Each encounter peels back layers of her own heart, revealing the scars she had buried deep. Yet, amidst the healing, a shadow lingers at the edge of her vision, a spirit that resists her light, lurking in the corners of her mind. It is a presence she cannot ignore, a reminder of her own unresolved past. Meanwhile, Nina watches from the periphery, her skepticism wavering as she witnesses Alara's connection with the spirits. The tension between them crackles like static in the air, their friendship teetering on the brink. This is just a trick of the light, Alara. Nina calls out, her voice laced with frustration. You can't let this lantern control you. Alara turns, her green eyes blazing with determination. It's not about control, Nina. It's about understanding. These spirits need us to help them find closure, just as I need to confront my own fears. The argument hangs in the air, a palpable tension that threatens to fracture their bond. Yet, as Alara returns to the spirits, she feels the weight of Nina's words. The resistant spirit looms closer, its presence a dark cloud over her heart. Alara knows that to help others, she must first face the shadows within herself. As the chapter draws to a close, Alara stands amidst the swirling colors of the memory realm, the lantern's light flickering in the distance. She feels the pull of the resistant spirit, a tether to her own past that she can no longer ignore. With a deep breath, she steals herself for the confrontation that awaits, knowing that the path to healing is fraught with challenges, but also illuminated by the promise of redemption. Join us next time as Alara continues her journey, facing the shadows within and helping the spirits find peace. Thank you for listening to this chapter of our story. Don't forget to subscribe to Storyteller for more enchanting tales.